Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I had an interesting experience of the day that really added a different perspective to the question of why do most day traders fail? And that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. So grab your cup of tea or your coffee and join me. Before I can really dive into answering the question, I need to give you a little bit of background as to why I'm thinking about the question in the first place. So if you guys have been following my journey and the vlogs that I share every Friday with my trading recap from the week, you'll know that the last week or so has been a little bit slow, a little bit choppy, and unfortunately I've had some red trades. Now that's fine, I can usually handle losing, but sometimes when I go through those extended periods of drawdown, as you can imagine, it gets pretty stressful. When you are working at your trading with the goal of becoming a consistently profitable trader, you know the losing trades happens, but it doesn't make it any nicer to experience. Now when you think of the important topic of why day traders fail, the most obvious answers come up including they fail to manage their risk effectively, or they're taking too much risk on their trades, or they aren't patient enough and they're trying to get rich quick, which as we all know does not always happen. Another reason that traders tend to fail is that they're not following a trade plan or a process for their trading. Now these are all points that I myself have known and I've been trying to practice from the beginning of my trading journey. But sometimes it's just not enough. Trading psychology can play a massive part, but what exactly does that mean? What does trading psychology entail? And sometimes you've got to really experience it to understand it. And that's what happened to me the other day. So I had a red day trading yesterday. I took a couple of losers and it ended up being, I think it was my third consecutive red day trading. After I turned the computer off, I was aware that I was thinking, questioning my strategy, questioning my approach of trading because in that moment when I was losing, I felt like it just wasn't working because I was losing. So something wasn't right and something needed fixing. I then took my dog for a walk, which is one of the best ways that helped me to unwind when I've had a losing experience, just getting out, getting some fresh air, getting away from the screens. And while I was taking him for a walk, I was pondering over the events of the trades and again, I was still thinking about this need to adjust my strategy. In fact, I was thinking about it that much that when I got back in, I then decided to do some backtesting. Backtesting an alternative strategy that I had looked at a while back, which was using the larger time frames because my usual strategy is scalping the five minute time frame. So I was questioning that approach and wondering whether I need to go back to a larger time frame and have a different approach to trading Forex. Now rolling forwards in time a little bit more, after I did some back testing and collated some data, do you know what I found out? I found out that trading is choppy and losers happen. And no matter what strategy you are using when you're trading, you're going to have losing trades. And I was just going through a simple period of drawdown and that might sound really simple. You might be watching this thinking, yeah, and, but that was a really priceless bit of experience for me because it made me realize that one of the main reasons that traders fail is because they just give up. They give up in the strategy. They're constantly changing their minds. They think that they've not quite got it and they're trying to alter their strategy or their approach to trading. In fact, if I look back at my own experience trading Forex for the past year, I have traded a lot of different strategies. And what I realized is that instead of changing a strategy, it can be better to just backtest that same strategy and really try to go deeper into the strategy. Figure out what the strengths and weaknesses are, figure out how you can manage the trades more effectively, manage the winners and allow them to run, manage the losers and how you can reduce them. When I switched to this approach and started looking back over my strategy, my trade plan for what I do with the five minute time frame, I was looking at it in a different light and I was able to try to see it more clearly and decipher what an A quality trade would be as part of my strategy compared with a low probability trade. And I think this practice really helps and I think that this can be one of the reasons why most traders fail because they don't go to this level of self-analysis and self-evaluation because it's easier to just give up than accept that you've just got to work at something and you've just got to keep going. I'll show you on the screen now just so you can see a glance of what my back testing records look like but I've had a few different approaches over the last year trading Forex. I've been experimenting with the one minute scalping strategy, a five minute scalping strategy, trading the 15 minute time frame, looking at hourly time frames, looking at four hourly and daily. And although they're all great and they all are important 
elements of trading forex i think that it just gets way too confusing and the better approach is to just stick to one strategy one plan and refine it perfect it work at it understand it develop it evolve with it but stick to the same plan as long as you have proven that it is profitable that it does give you a good accuracy rate from back testing and from trading in a demo when you switch to trading live probabilities do take over and the losers can happen but when i looked back at my back testing data i've had periods of drawdown where i had four or five losers in a row when i was back testing but over the long run a trade plan like this is still successful so it's still worth my time and effort I think the question a strategy and changing a trade plan is one of the side effects that trading psychology can have the fear of failure it means that it doubts your ability it means that you lack the confidence with your trading and i think that the best way to get around that is to just carry on persevere build experience and to not give up have you guys ever felt the same with your trading have you been changing your minds or changing your plan let us know in the comments below I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different, but I do think it's really important to understand why most day traders fail. And more importantly, how you can win. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.